Hello everyone, my name is Matt, and uh, I'm here to show you a method on how to get a full screen web browser on your PS5. Um, currently, I am in a video game called Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. It is a trial version that you can get for free on the PlayStation Store. You need this if you want the if if you want to use the method I'm about to show you. So go ahead and download that, and uh, as that's down, as that's downloading, I will explain how this works. So at the bottom right of uh, so once you open the game, start it, you're gonna get thrown to a mission or character creation. Yahoo, whatever. So go ahead and quit out of that as fast as you possibly can, and to the main menu, and you're right here. At the bottom right, there's FAQ. I'm gonna hit square on that, and it's gonna say, "Hey, you want to get redirected to our, inter our default inter internet browser?" Sweet. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, when I hit X on this, it's gonna actually bring up a full screen web browser. You're not going to be able to see this, unfortunately, because I'm recording this through the PS5 in-game uh, recording system. It only records the game. The web browser is actually getting layered over on top, over the game itself, but you're not going to be able to see it. It's gonna, You're not going to hear the game, which is a good thing, and it pretty much puts, puts the game at pause. So, then nothing really is going to happen. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and extra hero. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, if at any point you get lost in my directions, I'm sorry. Uh, down below in the comment section, there is a step-by-step -step method in text form. So go go read that if you want if that's better for you. But I'm gonna keep going here. So I'm gonna go ahead and X, and it's gonna take me straight to the Ubisoft. Uh, what can we help you with web page? Uh, quick controls, your left analog controls your cursor, so your mouse and clicky button, and then your right, your right analog controls the browser, um, your browsing, of uh, scrolling up and down. So, um, X, the X button, well, literally lets you click. The circle button will straight up, unfortunately, bring you back to the main menu and now you hear the music again because that, that, that's what happened to me. Uh, the circle button will close the web browser and straight up bring you back to the main menu of the game. Um, we'll go ahead and go back to the web browser. But, so, don't hit circle if you don't want to close it. It's probably going to happen, unfortunately, when you're watching, when you're in it. It's, that's life. So, you're at, we're back at the web page. Uh, the Ubisoft, and you're going to use your right analog to scroll on down to the very bottom, and you're going to see six white circles with icons in them, and one of those icons is the YouTube icon. So go ahead and hover over that and click on it with X, and you're going to get taken from there to YouTube. Um, on the left side of this web page, there is a, you're going to scroll, you're going to have your cursor on, over on the left side, and then you're going to use your right analog to scroll down on the YouTube menu on the left side, and then you're going to see a two, you're going to see some gray words in small font. Unfortunately, you cannot zoom in, but one of those words at the very bottom left corner of this browser is privacy, terms of privacy. And you can click on the privacy, and it's a link that takes you to a Google page. So go ahead and click on privacy, and it takes you to Google's privacy and terms web page. And at this point, at the top right corner, there is a sign in button for Google. And right next to that, there is a square icon that's made of, like, small dots. And you're going to want to click on the square icon that's right next to the sign in button. And it, bring, it pops up a bunch of menu options of, like, and one of those options is literally G Search, which is Google Search. So click on that, and then you're at Google Search. A um, couple things 
And yeah, at this point, you can then search whatever you want, and it's full screen. Yay. A couple of things to note. Um, there is no back function. So once you search, you once you use your Google search and then you enter a website and you want to go back to Google search, you have to hit circle to go back to the main menu of Ghost Recon and repeat that process to get back to Google. So that there's there's no there's no back button, there's only forward. So you can only forward you forward just forward progress only. Um if okay, if you're searching if you're typing something and you hit circle, it will close the type bump the type box, not closing up the whole browser. So that is another note. Uh third note not every web page is supported by this browser because a lot of stuff is using Internet Explorer or, or Chrome, Firefox, yada, yada, yada. So if a web page straight up says, we cannot support this, your system, it literally will, you can't do anything about that. I'm sorry. Um, third, uh, another note, I have watched videos on this before, on this web browser. I've used Kiss Anime. I've streamed videos on other websites. Um, if you're playing a video, if you're playing a video on this browser, you make an, an error thing that says cannot use this feature pop up box. You can go ahead and hit X and it will close that. And then you can straight up just click on the play button again. And it'll most likely will play the video. Um, it's just sometimes it's persistence and it pop that box will pop up a lot. But if you're persistent enough, you can play a video and then you can actually click on to the full screen on that video, and it will make it full screen on the web browser. Uh, only issue is that you will still have your cursor on the screen, but you can go ahead and like shove it into a corner, and you're still watching a, a video on this web browser in full screen on your television instead of that little link, that little small web browser box that everyone's using. You know that method where you know send send google.com through a friend and then click on the link and then you get this pop up web browser which is in a rinky dink box not full screen which sucks. Um, aside from that though, that is the only that is all I have to say. Again, if you did get lost, I'm sorry. There are there is a text form of this instructions with notes as well in the comment section. Underneath Matthew McMillan. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hopefully it helped you all. And have a good one. Later.